Warning, this channel documents a legal medical marijuana grow. Everything is solely informational and for documentation purposes. Rob's Review does not encourage any illegal activities of any kind and is not suitable for all ages. If you're over 18, you're okay. If not, please do not watch this video. What's up everyone? Rob's from Rob's Reviews back at you with another video. And today we will be unboxing the Mars Hydro FC 3000. Let's get into the video. All right, so let's start this video video off with getting the dimensions of the box. Looks like we got 30 inches by 25. This thing is a big one, guys. Barely can fit it in this on my table and in the video. I got my tripod fully extended, the neck up and everything. So let's go ahead and get her open. I waited today. I got this yesterday, I think it was, but I wanted to do the video today um, got time to do it so i'm excited about this you guys this is the biggest light that i've ever bought in fact if you look at mars hydro's website this is one of their commercial lights the fc series uh, this is the smallest out of the, all their f series um, and i bought it because of my new 4x4 tent they say it's good for a 4x4 veg and a 3x3 flower i was a little misled i, I believe because if you look at Amazon and you look at Mars Hydro's website, you're going to get mixed information on what the light coverage is. But it is what it is. I think I paid about 360 bucks for this after using a code MH420. And this is what it's going to be, guys. So regardless of what the coverage says, this is what we're going to be using in the 4x4 tent. And let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. All right, let me see here. I might have to slide it out. Oh man, this thing, is, I can already see it. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna have to stand it up, guys, sorry. Or bring it this way, one or the other. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, I just don't wanna break it. All right, first thing out of the box is going to be the light. There she is. We will go into the details in just a second. It's packaged pretty nicely. I mean, it did have a couple dings on the box, but as you guys can see, this thing is all in one piece, which is perfect. All right, so there is the light. Look at how beautiful this thing is. It says Mars Hydro on every bar and the side also says Mars Hydro right there. On the, I thought in the video or in the picture it showed that that was green, but maybe I'm mistaken. So there's the light guys. Let's see what else is in the box. Looks like there's this may be either the power supply cord or something for the driver to plug into. We'll find out. Let me set this somewhere where it will not get damaged. All right, moving on. What else do we got in this box? All right, next thing that I see, of course, big shout out to Mars Hydro. I love these stickers. I think this is my third set, but you know, you gotta have these, you guys. If you get anything Mars Hydro, you're gonna, it's gonna come with this 99% of the time, or at least since I bought it, I've ne never had one that didn't come with a sticker pack. So. These stickers are awesome and they're really, really big. I like the little ones as well. So thank you, Mars Hydro. And I don't mean thank you as if I'm being sponsored by Mars Hydro. This is not a sponsorship video by Mars Hydro. And to fill you guys in on something that I haven't shared with my channel yet and I feel you guys should know, not really that big of a deal. I pretty much fund my whole entire grow, all my equipment mostly, I'd say about 90% of it, um, but there are awesome people like uh, BW Genetics that sponsor me, awesome people like Mark Collins, which you guys can look in a previous video of mine if you want to get sponsored and test products for Mark Collins, people like Humboldt Secret Supply, um, those people do sponsor me, but Mars Hydro, I'd say about three months ago, maybe four months ago, I got the message on my phone, maybe I'll put a screenshot of it in this video. So you guys can see, it sent me a message saying they wanted me to test out one of their lights. 
and it was a legit, it was Mars Hydro, showed me a picture of the results from the lights, and I says, yeah, awesome, I would love to test one of your guys' lights, that'd be amazing, like, that was my dream for the longest time, but the thing is, is after I inquired on it and responded back, they sent me a message back saying, oh, we're sorry, we're all out of sponsorships, blah, 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 and maybe we'll deal with you some other time, so... We all know that that's a bunch of bullshit, in my opinion. Sorry about the foul language, guys. I wasn't really upset about it. I was a little discouraged because they're kind of dangling a carrot in front of your face, and then as soon as you respond, they say no. So that's kind of the story behind Mars Hydro. I still buy their product. I still think it's a great product, but I don't think it's fair if they offer somebody something and then renege on it. So that's the story behind that. So here's the driver, you guys. I wasn't going to share that with you guys for the longest time because I don't like making companies look bad, but that's something you guys need to know because, I mean, I, I do all of this for the community. If this the same thing could happen to you guys, you just never know. So, there she is. This is the Meanwell driver. Uh, input is 100 to 240 watts, uh, 50 to 60 hertz, max power 301 watts. So, this is the FC3000. Max power is 300 watts. You guys will notice like the TS600 is probably a 60 watt. The SF1000 by Spider Farmer is 100 watt. They make it sound like it's thousands of watts, but in all reality, drawing from the wall, it's only about 10% of that. So um, that's the driver. Here's the bottom side of it. It looks like it has an adjustable dial on the bottom as well. And this must just screw on top of the light somehow. So let's see if we can figure out how to get this on the light. And yes, I believe that this is the cord for the driver, that cord we seen dangling. So you got a cord there. Looks like you have a switch here. And I believe this switch is to override these controls and just put this at max power for people that are like daisy chaining together. So, or you can keep this switch off I'm, I'm assuming, and leave this on, and then you can adjust it with the dial, which is really, really cool. It goes from 25 to 50 to 75 to max, and you got two channels here to connect more than one light together. So, pretty awesome. The biggest driver that I've seen so far. All right, now, let's see if we can figure this out. So if you can see on the bottom here, there's these little hand twisty screws. They left a really long cord, as you guys can see, and that's to decrease any heat um, exhaust that's coming from the light or the driver. And you can put this driver outside of your tent, so that gives you plenty of, uh, plenty of length of cord to put this outside of your tent. Looks like it may be about a six foot cord. But in order to attach the driver, you get these four hand screws. Then you want to make sure that your driver connection is facing towards the other driver connection, male and female. Then it looks like it just sits right on top like that. And then this power cord, of course, is going to plug into the other end and go into the wall. So let's tighten her down. Seems a little sketchy to be honest with you guys, but none of the weight is going to be on this driver mount. It's going to all be on a. Uh, it's going to be on the, the the brackets here for the light hanging. So hopefully this doesn't fall apart. And it looks like there's only one way for this to go, and it goes like that. You can see there's so much more cords. So if you want to mount this driver outside of the tent, you can do that. But, moment of truth, let's plug this bad boy in, see how bright she is. All right, here we go, guys. Ooh. 
All right. So this switch here is to turn the light off and on. The switch on the back is to turn the dimmer off and on. So as you can see, I can dim, but if I flip this switch, it puts it at full power. So that's exactly what that switch is for, you guys. Let's, let's, uh, turn the switch on so I can have my dimmer going. And we'll flip it upside down so you guys can see. Woo, this thing. This is on low right now, you guys. This is on low. Let's work our way up to max. Don't want to blind you or anything, but geez louise. Oh my god, this is lighting up my whole house. All right, so that's the FC3000. I'm so excited to use it. This will be used on the sea of green that we're running right now and the 4x4 Vivo Sun tent. We'll see how that goes. I will be doing a setting up of the tent so you guys can see how I'm gonna configure it and see how we're gonna do all that. And we got the, we have the AC Infinity inline fan. We have the AC Infinity carbon filter. I have a nice Honeywell rapid spinning uh, ro rotary fan. And we have dehumidifier. We have everything we need to set that up so I'm excited to get this in the tent and hang it. One last thing in this box before we end this video and are going to be our hangers, which is always awesome to get, you guys. The light doesn't come with hangers. You shouldn't even buy the light. That's like a car without wheels. So there's the hangers. There's the, the mounting for the hangers. And there's the phone cord that I never used to connect more than one light. But we'll see how it goes. Who knows? I may even put my Spider Farmer SF1000 in the tent with this and connect them together and see how that works. Just, it might work, it may not. We'll find out if I decide to go that route. But thank you so much, you guys, for tuning into Rob's Reviews. Very excited to get this set up. I waited today just for you guys so I can do this unboxing. And uh, we will see you next time. Also, one thing before I end this video. 420 was an amazing giveaway. I think we had four winners, but there was some confusion. If you guys rewatched that video, I want to make it very clear who wins and who doesn't win. And I appreciate the fact that I have so many subscribers. Big thumbs up to that, you guys. And if you haven't hit that thumbs up button, do it now, please. That would be so awesome to support the channel. All of my giveaways from this day forward will be comment generators. That way there's no question on who's getting close to the number. When you have 20 or 30 people picking numbers, it can get really confusing. So in order to alleviate any confusion and make sure the person that wins actually gets the prize, we will be only doing comment generating giveaways every first of the month, but not the first of May since we did that one early on 420. So you have to wait till June for the next seed giveaway. Uh, BW Genetics was awesome enough to send me out another care package. So we have plenty of seeds to give away you guys. So stay tuned. Check out BW Genetics. There's only two five packs of the Freak Show left. Use code 2021 for free shipping and 50% off. And make sure you grab yours before somebody else does. We'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And uh, I'm out. Oh, well,